really depending on the surface. Okay, so uh, there's multiple combinations that you can do here. And we didn't before going with uh, other stuff. I want I want to to pay. I, I want to. I talk about the shininess, but since uh, okay, I, and I modify the shininess on this uh, on the box, but we cannot really see it since it's not like really smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the shininess of this. Uh, the material on the ball here so to show you exactly how you know this thing will affect so I'm going to put like the shininess like uh, no, not the top let's say you know like plus or minus like the half 75 percent 50 percent something like that okay and I'm gonna go back in scripting and export again and when I'm going to run we're going when the light is going to come we are able to see that here the points you know uh, where the light you know like is is, is really more uh, concentrated we're going to be able to uh, see that it's a lot more shiny than the rest of the mesh I'm going to put it at the top here okay so we can really see that this part can like become uh, more uh, bright okay so also depending on the type of material that you want to use okay uh, you might want to tweak this this value a bit and as a last part of this tutorial this tutorial I mentioned at the beginning was <coughs> is also like introducing fog okay, to give you know like a, a little uh, notion of you know like dramatic scene or something okay uh, so here I'm going to uncomment line uh, 73 and you know render the mist here and I'm going to modify these value here that is the start uh, the clip start distance of the fog and the clip end uh, my scene is not that big right now if I check you know like the dimensions about 200 okay so uh, I'm going to modify these value here and I'm going to put like 500 and like 1000 and I'm using in this one like the mode GL lin linear but you got like also here on line 45 you got in you know, like other modes that uh, you can use and you can test uh, with different values and I do not need to re-export my scene I'm simply going to run with the fog enable and check how it looked like mm, this is okay we can see that we got a bit of fog here but it's still far so I'm going to put the distance even like more near than that let's say at 200 then something like that <coughs> There you go. Well, that's like really foggy, but uh, that show you, you know, like the example. So now what we have is we have lights, we have fog, uh, we have some of the some of the objects, you know, got uh, normal material, and some others, you know, are using vertex color, okay, to apply the the, the color on the uh, <coughs> inside used by the lighting uh, calculation. Okay, so this is pretty flexible. You can you know tweak and try you know like. Uh, different values check what give you know like the best results okay and you know adjust it depending on what kind of scene you know what kind of uh, application you are trying uh, to create okay so that's basically it okay lighting uh, fog uh, material vertex color all used inside the lighting calculation so that's it